Hello everyone, here we are going to continue with exercise 7.1 of the chapter percentage. We have already did till question number 19 in our previous video. Now we are going to continue with question number 20. In question number 20, we have been given in a sale, a shop reduces all its price by 15%. Calculate the cost of an article which was originally priced at rupees 40. So here the reduced percentage is 15% and the original price is rupees 40. We have to find the new price. So new price is 40 minus 15% of 40. That is 40 minus 15 upon 100 into 40. 0, 0 cancelled out. Then 2, 2, 0, 2, 5, 0, 5, 3, 0. So we get 40 minus 6. That is equal to rupees 34. So 34 is the new price for this article. Now we move to the second part of this question. Here the original price of an article is to be calculated which was sold for rupees 20.40. Here also the reduced percentage is 50. The new price is 20.40. Let the original price be x. So according to question x minus 15% of x equals to 20.40. Now we are going to solve it. This will be x minus 15 upon 100. x equals to 20.40. Now we take LCM. We get 100 over here. So 100x minus 15x equals to 20.40. Now 100 minus 15 85x upon 100 equals to 20.40 and that implies x equals to 20.40 into 100 upon 85. Now we remove the decimal and we get 100 over here. This is going to cancel this and on solving this we will be getting x equals to rupees 24. That's your answer. Now let's do question number 21. Here we are having Increase the price of rupees 200 by 10% and then decrease the new price by 10% if the final price is same as the original one. Now here we are having the original price as rupees 200 and in the case one we have to increase the price by 10%. So the new price is 200 plus 10% of 200. This will be 200 plus 10 upon 100 into 200. This is going to cancel out and we will be having 200 plus 20. That is rupees 220. Now, after this, we have to move to the second case in which we are going to decrease the price by 10%. Now, after decreasing the price by 10%, the final price we will be getting. So, the final price equals to 220. This one minus. 10% of 220. This will be 220 minus 10 upon 100 into 220. This is going to cancel out. And here we will be having 220 minus 22. And this equals to rupees 198. Now we are also been asked whether the final value is same as the original one. So now we'll move to question number 22. Here we are having Chandni purchased some parrots, 20% flew away and 5% died. Of the remaining, 45% was sold. Now 33 parrots remain. How many parrots did Chandni purchase? Now here, let's suppose the number of parrots Chandni purchased be x. Now the parrots which flew away is 20% of x that is equals to 20 upon 100 into x. On solving, we will be getting this 0 cancel out and 2 5 times. So this will be x upon 5. Then number of parrots died equals to 5% of x. That is equals to 5 upon 100 into x. That is equals to 1 upon 20 x. Now of the remaining number of parrots, 45% was sold. So first of all, we are going to calculate the number of parrots which are left after flew away and died. So the number of parrots left equals to x minus the sum of these two that is x by 5 and 
x by 20. And now we are going to solve this. This will be x minus the LCM of 5 and 20. We will be getting 20 only. And here will be 4x plus x. That is x minus 5 by 20. x. Here again this will be cancelled out. We will be getting 4 over here. Now we can take LCM of it. And here we will be having 4. And this will be 4x minus x. That is equal to 3 upon 4x. Now, this is the number of parrots which are still left with Chandni. Now, out of this, 45% is going to be sold. So, the number of parrots sold equals to 45% of 3 by 4x. This can be written as 45 upon 100 into 3 upon 4x. Now, solving this, we will be having 135 upon 400 x. Now, after solding this much number of parrots from this one, 33 parrots are still left. So according to question 3 upon 4x minus 135 upon 400x equals to 33. Now we are going to solve for x and here we will be taking LCM and we will be getting 400 as LCM. Now 4 into 100 so this will be 300x minus 135x equals to 33. Now 300 minus 135x equals to 165 x upon 400 equals to 33. Now this x will be equals to 3 3 into 400 upon 165. 33 into 5 times and 5 here we will be getting 8 and 0. Therefore x equals to 80. So the number of parrots which Chani has purchased is 80. Now let's see question number 23. Here, a candidate who gets 36% marks in an examination fails by 24 marks, but another candidate who gets 43% marks get 18% more marks than the minimum pass marks. Find the maximum marks and the percentage of pass marks. Now here, let the maximum marks be x. Now the score of the first candidate is 36% of x. Now, if we consider this number, this candidate failed by 24 marks. This means passing marks will be 36% of x plus 24. Now, for the second candidate, he get 43% of marks and his score is 18 more than the passing marks. This means passing marks for him will be 43% of x minus 18. Now, we have got the same passing marks with respect to two different candidates. One who have failed by getting 36% and the another who have Pass this one by getting 43%. Now we are going to equate these two to get the value of x which will be your maximum marks for this examination. So according to question 36% of x plus 24 is equals to 43% of x minus 18. Now we are going to solve it and this will be 36 upon 100 x plus 24 equals to 43 upon 100 x minus 80. Now we are going to put all the variables in one side and all the constant on the other. Now we have 36 upon 100 x minus 43 upon 100 x equals to minus 80 minus 24. Now we are having the same base so this will be subtracted directly so minus 7 upon 100 x equals to and they both are having a minus sign so they will be added and this will be minus 42. Now we can cancel minus from both of the side and this x will be equals to 42 into 100 upon 7. We are going to cancel this one and we will be having x equals to 600. So maximum marks equals to 600 and passing marks will be either we can calculate with the help of this one or with the help of this one. Passing marks equals to 36% of x plus 24. That is equal to 36 upon 100 into 600 plus 24. Here 0, 0 cancel out. So this will be 216 plus 24. That is equal to 240. So 240 is passing marks in this examination. And passing percentage is 240 upon 600 into 100. Now we cancel it out. And this will be equals to 40% as answer. 
Now we are moving to question number 24. Here we are having the sides of a rectangle are 20 cm and 15 cm. If each side is increased by 20%, find the percentage increase in the area. Here we have been given with the length 20 cm and the breadth 15 cm. So the area will be length into breadth that is 20 into 15 and this will be equals to 300 centimeter square. Now we have to increase the length and breadth both by 20 percent. So we'll be having the new length as 20 plus 20 percent of 20 and this will be 20 plus 20 upon 100 into 20. 0 0 cancel out and we'll be getting 20 plus 4 that is 24 centimeter and the new breadth will be 15 plus 20 percent of 15 that is equals to 15 plus 20 upon 100 into 15 0 0 cancel out 2 1 zero, 5 zero, 5 3 zero. so we get 18 centimeter as the new breadth and now new area will be again length into breadth that is 24 into 18 and this will be equals to 432 centimeter square. Now the increase in area is 432 minus 300 that is equals to 132 centimeter square and increase percentage will be equals to 132 upon original one that is 300 into 100. Now 0 0 cancel out and 3 4 and 4. So 44 percent is your required answer. Now let's move to question number 25 and here we are having Imran gives 1 percent of his monthly income to his two sons as the pocket money. The elder son gets 80 percent of the total amount given and he spends 80 percent of his share. If he saves rupees 60 per month, determine the Imran's monthly income. Let Imran's monthly income be X. Now he gives 1% of his income to his two sons. So the amount given to his two sons is 1% of X. That is equals to 1 upon 100 X. Now the elder one gets 80% of this share. Therefore, the share of elder is 80% of 1 upon 100 X. That will be equals to 80 upon 100 into 1 upon 100 x. On solving, this will be give you 8 upon 1000 x. Now he spends 80% of this value. So amount is spent equals to 80% of 8 upon 1000 x. And on solving, this will be 80 upon 100 into 8 upon 1000 x 0 0 cancel out and you will be getting 64 upon 1 and 4 0 x. Now in question it has been given that the elder son saves rupees 60 per month. This means on getting this amount and on spending this much he is able to save rupees 60. Means the difference of these two is rupees 60. So according to question 8 upon 1000 x minus 64 upon 10,000 x equals to 60. Now we are going to solve for x and here we will be getting 10,000 as LCM and here it will be 80x minus 64x that is equals to 60 and here 80 minus 64 will be 16 upon 10,000 x equals to 60. Then we are going to solve for x this will be 60 into 10,000 upon 16. We can divide this by 4 and we will be getting 4 over here. Here we will be getting 15 and 4 25 is 100 and 2 more zeros. So the x is equal to rupees 3, 7, 5 and 0, 0. So Imran's monthly income is rupees 3, 7, 5, 0, 0. That's all in this video. Thank you.